Hello and welcome to the first episode of Automaton Lung. Now I found this game for my Steam Games No One Plays video, so I have already played about 40 minutes of this. Now there are a couple reasons that I decided to do a let's play of this game. First of all, I really like what I've seen so far. This seems right up my alley, so to speak, for a few different reasons. And second, there doesn't seem to be too many videos about this game. There are some that showcase the gameplay for a few minutes and one speedrun I found and a couple of reviews, but that's pretty much it. Now, as I said, I played a little bit of this already, but I didn't get very far. So I'd wager by the end of this episode or the beginning of the next one, we'll reach some new stuff that I've never seen before. So in other words, I am considering this a blind playthrough. So yeah, here's my save right here, but of course we're going to be starting a new one. And yeah, so this is really cool. At the beginning, you just dropped in here. Um, actually, I've seen one of those a little bit later in the game. That's interesting, that little floating thing. But okay, we'll come back to this later. Because I don't think we can do anything here. But yeah, your character has a few different abilities. So you can shoot. There's a jumping, there's a boost when you're jumping. But if you do the same thing while you're running, you'll do a little... You'll gain some speed. Also, if you press the upper face button... I'm playing with a controller. You can ride this little skateboard thing, which is pretty cool. You can break these, uh... Oh, hey, we clipped the camera through the wall. That's epic. But anyway, I did that because, um... See how my character's locked in one position? The lock-on is with the left trigger. So anyway, but you'll see. I'll, I'll probably explain as we keep going. And obviously, I'm aiming with the camera, so... Yeah, you can already see some similarities to Dark Souls. That's kind of why I like it. Not, not too many. This is, this is a 3D platformer, of course. It's not the same genre, but I really like the minimalist nature of it. Like with the storytelling and stuff. You'll see. You'll see. Because look at the HUD. Look at the HUD. Okay, anyway. And look at the saving. This is awesome. Okay. Now, yeah, we can lock on the... As I've seen so far, the combat's just like you hold the shoot button down, but we'll see if it gets more complex. Anyway, we can go down there. Hold on, let's investigate. Because when I first played the game, I just went automatically- Okay, hold on, hold on, I've never been here. We already found something new. But yeah, I really like 3D platformers. So, I'm very excited for this playthrough. Alright, so yeah, this is the main collectible. You can see it's on the upper left. Like, that's a counter. See it right there? I don't know what they do. I think they unlock certain doors if you collect enough of them. That's like a staple of the genre, but hold on. How the fuck do we get that one? That was epic, but where the hell? Okay, hold on. I think we, this makes us jump. That's cool. But yeah, a lot of this game seems to be based in exploration. That's like the focus of the game. And it's very fun to move around. Like this thing allows you to go fast. But you can't turn- oh, you can't go up certain slopes apparently there. Let's see. Oh, what the fuck is this? Okay, awesome. I love that we found things I never found before. Already at the beginning of the first episode. And this reminds me, hearing this song, I like this. I like the music in this game. Oh, what the fuck? All right, hold on. We're going to go back inside because there's a way you can loop around. If you keep going down, you can loop around back to the beginning. So let's do like this whole section, then we'll move out. But that's cool. Okay, so there's like a little city area or something. Now, I don't know if you go faster down slopes on this thing. I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of a glide when you go off an edge. So that's really cool. Oh, also, do the enemies respawn when I exit and enter locations? Let's check that out. Also, we got some water on the ground. It's like a puddle. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Oh, one thing is that the camera is like a little fast. Oh, yeah, this enemy respawned. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. I wonder if them exploding does any damage or is it like a graphical thing? But anyway, the camera's like a little fast. I don't know if you can change that in the settings. Let's see, okay, we're back at the beginning here. Sort of. Oh yeah, 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 this is how you loop back to the beginning. Hold on, okay, let's save our progress. 
I don't know what happens if you die. Probably just go to your last save. Makes the most sense. Let's see, I believe... Let's check what's down here. Because I was here, but... Ah, okay, okay. So, let's kill these guys. I'm going to collect that chip thing. Or the collectible, I don't know really what to call it. But this guy's pretty computery. And it looks kind of like a chip, so... Okay. Shit. Don't want to get hit by that, but okay. Hold on. We've got that. Now, over here is like a little secret door. It's hidden. Now, this is kind of strange. I don't know what to call this. I was thinking of names before. Well, the thing is, let me let me start by saying this. The thing is, in this game, like I said, a lot of the things are minimalist. So we don't know this character's name. We don't know the enemy's names. We don't know what that chip collectible thing is called. And we don't know what the hell this door is. But when you go in, there's like a menu. So it's like your character, you see them like, yeah, right there. They're looking at the screen, like so selecting where they want to go. And like, if you go click any one of these, you go to like a little stage and you can come back to this kind of warp room. I don't know. Anyway, you'll see, you'll see. But anyway, I was thinking of calling this like little... Oh, that's so cool. I didn't notice that before. Okay, so the little character shows you where you are now. All right, so we're at 21. Okay, that's really cool. Anyway, I was thinking of calling this like the tunnel or just the warp or the nexus or some or the stream or something like that, but we'll just call it the tunnel for now. I don't know if there's any readable text in this game, but we'll see. Okay, anyway, let's double check that. Yeah, so I selected 21. Oh, hey, the enemies spawn in. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. But yeah, just double checking. Yeah, we are at 21. Yeah, I don't know what that little cutscene's for. Because you would think maybe that's like showing you. Like it's like a panning shot of the area you're warping to. But this is a completely different type of room. So I don't know. Or maybe we're on the inside of that kind of structure. It looked kind of like stone on the outside or something. I don't know. This looks more like computerized. You know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, you can see the combat's not- I'm not really doing anything. I'm just locking out this guy and shooting. Maybe we'll get a little closer so we can hit him more. Okay, we killed him. So yeah, when you kill that guy, this floor starts to go down. Which I think is really cool. So you basically kill them and you unlocked um, the rest of the, you know, the lower lower side of this board. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is where, I don't know if it was intended, but this was a pretty good tutorial area. Because I didn't know you could boost jump at first. But I was trying everything I could to climb up this, and yeah. So yeah, the boost jumping is very helpful. And collect that. Nice. So yeah, anyway, I'm excited to see what this game has in store. Um, there's not much to say other than that, because there's nothing to really go off of. We kind of look like a robot, I guess. I hope there's like a story to it. I don't know. You guys, you know me. I like the lore and stuff. Okay, anyway, now you're thinking, you might be thinking, how the hell do we get over there? We're gonna glide. Let's go. Come on, tell me that's not hype. That is really cool. Okay, so we got this, and I think we got all the chips now, so we'll just drop back down. As we saw earlier, and just now, there's no fall damage, I think. Maybe if you fall far enough, but anyway, we'll save, and then we'll go right into the door. We should be done with this little room. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay, it shows 100%. Alright. So... There is one of these that allow us to get something really cool. You'll see. I don't know which one it is, but we'll just go in order, I guess. Oh, I've never been here. Where the hell is this? Oh, wait. No, we can't get in there. Oh yeah, there's the door, okay. So we can just go back if we want. Oh, that's like a light, that's not a window. How the fuck do we get that? Oh, that's cool. Okay, a little bit of precision here. But yeah, the camera is gonna get a little wonky for us when... Especially combined with the screen tearing effect. I don't know if you can turn that off as well, but... Yeah, oh shit, hold on. But yeah, when we get close to walls is what I'm saying. The camera's gonna do this. Okay, here we go.
try to be careful. But okay. We haven't seen an enemy yet here. Hold on. Nope, nothing to do with that. What a strange little area. Okay, this might have been just like a platforming area. Because I think this is the beginning. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that um, platform up there. Okay, cool. Let's see if we 100%ed this. Yeah, so we could constantly go through this, but this is not the whole game. There's more to it. I mean, we did see in the first stage, like the starting area, there was the outside city. We could go there, but hold on. I, I want to show you something first. Let's see if we can find it. But these do seem relatively short, all these, so... Oh, what the fuck? We got a little trap beat going on this area. Okay. So we see this is like a little, um, another little condensed stage. So we won't go here for now. And obviously we can tell where we've been because the number of chips or the 100% thing. Nah, not this either. Hold on. Maybe I went to number one. Let's go all the way down. But anyway, like I was saying, we could go through all these levels in sequential order, but I kind of want to go exploring like, like all these places are disconnected. You know what I mean? But okay. Oh, you know what? That's so cool. So we were going through levels of the tower. Okay, this is a big tower. Okay, I didn't realize that. Oh shit. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. I didn't get the save though, but yeah, we get this little flying thing. And as you can see from the achievement, this is the overworld. But okay, I didn't get that before. So we started at the very top. Oh wait, I think there is a place to land. So if you see those uh, beams of light, that's how you land. Also, there's a big skull or just head carved into that mountain or something. That's cool. But hold on, let's go up here. Let's see if that takes us to the city thing. Oh fuck, we crashed. Okay, hold on. Wait, can we go in here? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, this is the same area. I wonder, could we have found this beetle thing? I don't know what to call the flying machine, but... I'll just call it the beetle or something. It looks like a bug when it's flying, you know? But, um... Let's see, can we find the door to go inside? That would be really cool. Like, we could have went all the way to the bottom to get it, or maybe we could have went to the top to get it. Can't go over the edge there. Okay, let's see. This is where this little thing's gonna come in handy, because in this there's a couple of vast spaces, so we're gonna have to travel kind of quickly. Let's see. We'll just look for any hidden stuff. There's a chip up there. Definitely cannot um, jump up there yet. This is a door. Hold on. Is this is this what I'm looking for? Yeah, this is it. Okay, that's really cool. Alright, so we didn't have to go all the way back through the, um... Well, now that we know, actually, that makes a lot more sense. We saw our character in that little room, and they were selecting on the screen. They were looking at all those different levels. Now we know there are different floors. That's interesting, so we can just call that the elevator. Okay. That's cool. So yeah, we can complete everything in the tower, but we won't do that yet. Let's do the top of the tower first here, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, that's where we came from just now. Let's go in here. Okay, so maybe we can get- Oh, wait, wait, this is gonna make me fly, right? Oh, hey, that hurt me, you fuck. Ow. I thought that was like a propeller, you know what I mean? Well, maybe I have to go with the skateboard. That worked! You gotta go on the skateboard! Oh, but I can't enter skateboard mode, like, in the- while I'm falling. But anyway, as you saw, the- I don't know if you noticed, but the- when I pick up the chip things, they restore my health. But let's come back in here when I have more health. Oh, we actually know. I don't have to get hit by this thing. Hold on. Hold on, we're learning. Ah, oh, I can see still. Kind of like, you know, I don't have to move forward. Like, in a direction. Can't move the camera too much while I'm doing this. Can turn like this, though. We'll have to pick up those chips, I know, but I just want to see. Actually, let's try to pick up a chip to get some health. 
Oh shit. Oh shit, okay, we got one. Oh, okay, so the collectible restores you to full health. I didn't know that. Awesome, okay, we got that second one. Now let's go up. Like, I want to see if we can get on a platform here. We'll turn around just to look. This is a good song for this room. Alright, nothing to get on. I'm assuming there will be at the top. Oh, hey, no, no, we're at the top. Fuck. Okay, so that's it for here. Give me that. Okay, we got it. There should be everything in here. I didn't notice any other chips. Okay. So that was just like a cool little showcase, I guess, of that mechanic. The hidden tutorials. I don't know what the fuck you call them, really, in game design, but it's like the hidden tutorial or like the guidance of the developer without spelling it out. You know what I mean? Like guidance through level design is really good in this game. As you can see from that first area. Oh, this is what I was talking about. Okay. This little thing. We saw one in the broken pipe. But if you go in this, it'll bring you to another one. Like that. That's cool. Hey, there's a box. Ah, uh, we could have got to that. Oh, wait, no, 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 we couldn't have. What the fuck is this? Hell yes. Okay. Do you think we die if we fall off this? Oh, wait, no, no. I didn't actually want to do that. I was going to go along the whole edge. Fuck it now. We got an achievement. That is kind of epic. So we went from the top layer right into this like level zero zero layer. That's pretty cool. But let's go back. But that does answer my question. You can get on the uh, flying vehicle. Like it doesn't stay where you left it. You know what I mean? Because we left it on top of here, but I fell down, and then I entered it from the bottom. So, that kind of answers our question there. But okay, let's see. There was a jumping thing to get on top of one of the buildings, and then we'll go all around, you know, like the edge. Just to see if there's any more chips, because I don't really want to miss anything. And then we don't know where the final chip is, you know what I mean? So. Oh, we can't get on that. You cannot get on that with the, um, with the hoverboard skateboard thing see that's what i'm saying we need names for all these things because the game's not going to give us any supposedly at least for now okay nothing in there now okay let's go Fuck, don't fall off oh but also um now that i'm looking at it the health bar i don't know does it get bigger with every chip we collect because that is pretty cool the collectible has dual functions. Supposedly I'll unlock something later, because we'll see if we come across it, but there's like a big number and it shows this icon like later in the game. So I'm assuming that unlocks something. But anyway, it refills you all of your health and also increases your max health, which is pretty cool. I like that. Like, you know, in Banjo-Kazooie or something, there's like a lot of different collectibles. I think there's like five different types, stuff like that. This is the exact opposite. There's only one collectible. Actually, I don't think that's true. You can't pick up other items because there was like a question mark item. You'll see. That's a cool area. We should go there next once I finish this roof area. But yeah, anyway, I don't think anything was on that ridge thing. So we'll just go on top of the buildings now if we can. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is behind something. Hold on. It took me a minute to find that again. But all right, let's see. Can we make that with the glide? I don't know. Uh, okay, we'll tr hold on. Let's make it with the jump. You cannot make that. We'll try gliding there. I don't think that's gonna work because I think when you glide, you go down a little bit. Well, you definitely do, but I mean, especially at the beginning. Hold on, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, this is how you do it. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. 
Hold on, is this close enough? Alright, okay, I like that, I like that. So you have to go from the hovering thing. I'm just gonna call it the skateboard. You have to go from the skateboard to boosting. Oh shit, we can't make that one. Okay, this one's yellow. Maybe that goes a lot higher. Oh, I guess it does. Hmm. This does let us get a good view here. Oh, maybe we can get to that peak. Hmm. Okay, let's try that. Oh. Uh, this is not how you're supposed to do it. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, we get there another way. And also, my character was doing some kind of a new falling animation when they fell for like a significant distance. So I wonder if you'll take damage at that point. Not sure. We could test that, but hold on. Let's actually progress here. Take this. Now instead of falling, let's look over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh wait, what? Didn't know we'd go all the way over here. Let's see if we got an option. Nothing for us down there, really. Maybe you can hover to that roof? I don't know. But we'll just take this. Damn, this is gonna be hard. Because your character does move quickly, so it's hard to stay on these thin ledges. Fuck it now. But that's how you have to do that, I think. All right, we're gonna try skating. I don't know if you have to build up speed first, but okay. See, oh wait, wait, can I make it here? Yes, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but we did it. That is another cool thing about this game. I think there are multiple ways to do things, you know, with the tools you have, like with the gliding and the boosting, you can reach areas in certain ways, or maybe you do it through this little button, you know? So that's pretty cool. Like, there are multiple ways to solve things, you know? Oh yeah, we could definitely get there from here. Yeah, and like I said, I don't know if you have to build up speed, I don't know if that's better. No! Okay, we gotta be precisely on that, what do you call it, that little, uh, the peak of it. This is fun, just jumping up and down, but okay, hold on. Let's see, so we got one up there. I do like this. This lets me see where I have to go, but how the hell do I get there? We're gonna try... Yeah, we're just gonna try going on these things again. Because I have to jump, you know, past the wall. You saw what I tried to do, but I missed it. Oh, there's one on top of that. Fuck, that's kind of nearby. Yeah, let's go get that, because then we can get the other one down there. But it seems like, yeah, there's a render distance, so far away it gets kind of misty or foggy. Like you see, over there the colors get a little blurred. It's the distant area, yeah, you see that. But anyway, the chips, you can't see them all. Because they disappear. There's one on top of that roof, we know that for sure, but in the middle, the peak, but we don't see it from here, so that's not good for us. But anyway, hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, we definitely made this. Okay. Ah, fuck, there's another one. Damn. Alright, we're going for this one. Nice. Can we make that? That would be cool. Hold on. Watch this. Oh, no, no, no. No. No, definitely not. Oh, wait. This did put us on the top layer. The top, uh, what do you call it? 
you know what I mean, the top row of the stuff. Okay. Dude. That is cool. If you enter this thing while dashing, the dash line is still behind you. See that? That was cool. It's like a little quirk of the game with a little oddity that we found. How the fuck? Is there an easy way to do this? I think I'm just being foolish. Let's try doing the skateboard. Oh no. That's definitely not it. Oh yeah, and there's not only one, as you saw right there, there's not only one double jump we can do, like one little boost. It's determined by the recharge of it. It's not like one until you land again, which is kind of cool. I like that. Yes, okay. On that one, I don't know if it was designed like that on purpose, but how I got- Oh shit, no, no, I didn't want to fall. How I got there was I just kept going. Like, I didn't stop my character's movement. Like, once I jumped, I kept moving forward. Uh, and that got me there. So that was cool. Alright. Now... I don't- let's, Yeah, let's just glide around, because I think we'll probably find something. Or at least we can get on that peak. The roof. Gain some speed. Oh, I stopped there. Fuck. But either way, let's see what we can do here. Oh yeah, there's one over there. Uh, let's try getting this. No, no! Fuck, I didn't get it. Now yeah, while we're doing this again, there is one you can see right here. Yeah, it's on the left. Let's just get that. Should be pretty easy. Okay, nice. Let's just see if anything's here. Nothing. Alright, so this time, since we're on the highest layer here, we're gonna try gliding to the middle. Let's see if we can do this. I, the thing is, I have to aim it. Let me try to aim it with the shadow. Nah, I can't see the shadow. Fuck. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. I did it! Oh, that was a little... No, no! Dude. Oh, man. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Let's go very slowly. See, I was foolish because I celebrated before I succeeded. That was interesting. Okay. Now, uh, where's the last chip? Isn't there one more? Oh, over there. Hmm, can we make that? Let's try gaining some speed and then going- Oh, hey. Don't do that. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Okay. Back to the warping thing. Or what should we call that? Alright, back to this speed orb thing. I'm gonna call it like a sending orb. Or it's kind of not like an orb, because it's got flat sides, you know? Aha, okay. So I believe that's all- oh my gosh, there's one more? Damn. Okay, let's try to get that. Come on, we're definitely gonna make this, right? It's over there. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I don't like when the camera jitters like that. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so this area was um, pretty difficult, as in, like, you need to be skilled. Well, let me put it this way. I would be very curious if this could be done without falling down. You know what I mean? Like, you just go up to the top level one time and you can collect all the chips. I wonder if that's possible. I don't know. Oh, hey, there's still a chip over there. What the hell? Oh, my goodness. But anyway, yeah, this was some pretty difficult platforming. Some of it had to be precise. It's not that difficult, but you know what I mean. It was, this was challenging. This was not easy. So yeah, this was cool. Um, I'm saying it like I'm done, but hold on, we still have one more to get. I think we can make it from here. But yeah, let's get the hell out of this area. I spent quite a bit of time here trying to get this stuff. Hold on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Don't tell me I'm about to fall. Okay, great. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. 
Oh, you know what? Let's go to that area I mentioned before. There's a question mark thing you can pick up. And it's where I first discovered those sending orb things. Oh yeah, it's the most visually interesting. It's that thing. It's like a dark city. Or like a city shrouded by some kind of dark fog. And yeah, this overworld is very nice. I like the theme. I like the song. And I like the visuals. Pretty cool. And moving with this uh, beetle machine is really cool as well. But yeah, this area. So I guess it's shrouded in darkness, that's why. Oh my gosh, are we seeing in, what do you call it, night vision? Is that why it's green? That would be kind of cool. Like it's not even mentioned, but since we're like a robot, or we look robotic, maybe like a cyborg. But anyway, we have night vision, that would be cool. I just thought it was green at first because what do you call it? I don't know. Because darkness. But anyway, yeah, we go like right on this thing. And then we can ride straight here. And then we do like a series of the sending orbs. But we'll see. I don't know how many chips are in this location. Like in the elevator, in the floors of the tower, it'll tell us if we 100%ed each floor. But here not. I wonder if we can find that out somehow. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This is like a cool... This is like a good showcase of the mechanic like I was describing earlier. It's more scenic, you know? Oh shit, hold on. Did not want to get that camera angle, but... Yeah, I don't know what that does. Nice little sound effect, but yeah. Alright, now we're here. Let's see what we can do. Let's just fly around. Because I want to see... I thought I saw a chip in the distance somewhere. That's the... Oh wait. What jump pad is that? No, that's the one we used. Oh yeah, we're getting some- oh, maybe this is the one we used, I don't know. Nothing here. Fuck, I hit the wall. We were getting some nice speed on that. Okay, we'll ride all around. So yeah, we're in like some kind of walled city. It's pretty cool. And yeah, the skateboard thing can't go up steep slopes. That's why I got off it, but hold on. And of course we can't go up certain slopes as well. Yeah, so this is one of those vast locations I mentioned earlier. Let's just go back if we can find the ship. We'll take off, but... Yeah, we could always come back here. But I feel like that question mark thing is the main thing here. I mean, I have no idea. We're just guessing, but I didn't see anything on my little ride around here, so we'll peace out. You know what? Let's go do one more thing I'm familiar with. That way... We're pretty much in totally new territory in the next episode. We already did find things, like I said earlier, that i never seen before. That was cool. But let's go over here. I went to this pyramid area. And it looks like there's something to land over there. So I don't know how big this overworld is, but we can check that out later. Like in the next episode or something. Like, we'll probably do all the local locations and then go out to the uh, outskirts. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, look at this. That made me notice that the shooting knocks enemies back. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, and another thing. Shooting on the board doesn't let you lock on, really. As you saw there, it kind of just did it for like a second. But hold on, let's try... We're gonna look for some chips. Hold on. We gotta try to find these collectibles. hell is this? Yeah, I don't know. Is this just not rendered over here or what? Strange. What 
Okay, so we got one here. Oh shit. No, we didn't spoke too soon. Alright, there we go. Okay. Let's just ignore those little worm guys. Desert worms. Damn, I almost died to worms. That guy was about to kill me. Okay. Hey, what the fuck? What's with all the worms? They're guarding this little collectible. I need it for my health. Come here, collectible. Okay, excellent. No more worms. Stupid worms. But yeah, I'm just gonna use the... ...save thing right above the ship. And then, we're gonna go... Like, behind where I'm facing right now. You'll see. This area is pretty cool. It's got some cool platforming stuff. And yeah, like I said, I don't know if we got all the chips in this kind of outdoor section, but for now we're going here. So this head is very similar to the one we saw on the overworld, so I wonder if they're related. Can't do anything with that, it's like in a tube. Let's see if anything's below the staircase. Now we got nothing. I believe this is- oh no, it's not too steep, okay. Oh yeah, we just got a chip up there, okay. Anyway, this... I'm pretty curious about that speedrun I saw. I didn't watch the video. Uh, remember I mentioned it at the beginning? I didn't watch the video, but I did um, just see it, like, because I searched this game on YouTube. But, okay, here we go. Nice, we'll get this other chip we just saw. Can we break this? Hey! That's so cool! I like that! That was like a little uh, deception, because it makes you think it's just the column. That's what it looked like to me, holding up the staircase, but it doesn't need that. And also, that was bricks, and this stuff is metal. So, that was really cool. Nice little hidden chip we got. Alright, so we can drop down. Yeah, let's just do that now. You can drop down and get the ship, and then I'll go back up there. And continue. Alright, so we're back up here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, we can get on those pillars. Fuck. Okay, hold on. I'm not going back down there. I just gotta climb up again, so we'll do that later. So we'll do what's up here first. Got that. I feel like a different song was playing here, in this area, but I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so I was initially thinking maybe you ride that uh, pipe wire thing, but if we just glide, we can pretty much just stay with it. And then we're gonna get right in that window. I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, maybe we can land on these columns. Maybe there's something for us. That doesn't look like it. We'll go in here. Ah. Excellent, we made it. Hello. Okay. Nothing for us behind here. We can climb back up and probably jump out that window again, but I think there's more here. Hold on, this might be a door. Yeah, right there. Yeah, we'll just go down there. Okay. We entered the desert base, apparently. Our only way of learning about this game is the Steam achievements so far.
So yeah, we can, uh, let's try shooting, oh wait, oh shit, I almost ran into that bullet. Let's try this. Yeah, it's not really too helpful because just the lock-on's more efficient. Oh yeah, and you can see I can't even jump up things like this. I need the boost for that. Get these little cube guys. Interesting enemy. Just a cube. And I think you have to unlock on to switch targets, I'm not sure, but moving the camera doesn't change the target. Like you're moving the camera stick. That's not a problem, I'm just saying. Oh, and it is a good lock-on. It does lock-on to, like, the closest enemy, so, I mean, that's really what you need out of a lock-on. This song, and also the title, Desert Base, it makes me think we're breaking into something, so that's pretty cool. Like I said, I think the music, it does a good job of fitting the mood in this game. Because there's different moods in different areas, you know? Got this fucking... what do you call it? These are like mines. Yeah, that probably does damage you. It's like a mine, right? But I wonder if enemies, if they explode, does that damage you? Okay, so I don't know if there's a secret by these rocks. You can go look. Oh, hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We need that. Okay, good. Oh, hey, it did blow up the other one. Okay, that kind of answers my question. That's pretty cool. So it can damage other enemies as well. And most likely us. That's little guy. The thing is, you don't get anything from killing enemies, really. Is this a secret? Nope, oh, nothing here. Hmm, okay. Just an empty cord. Okay, here we go. But yeah, see, can't lock on. Yeah, we're pretty powerful with the shooting. We can lock onto enemies, be pretty accurate with that, and we can knock them back. It's pretty good. We'll just skip that other enemy there. No reason to fight him, I guess. Hmm. We're just going straight. I don't want to miss anything, that's why I keep looking, but... Okay. Now we're back at the entrance, so we looped around. Is there another chip? Hold on. I don't think so. Okay, I think we're good. Let's fly out of here. Now, yeah, okay. I'm gonna climb back up. Let's go try to land on those columns. It shouldn't be too hard. We're just... Uh, maybe we have to be precise. I don't know. Let's see. It shouldn't be too hard compared to what we just did on the roof of the tower, so I'm not really too worried. Although it might take a couple of jumps. It depends how many chips there are, like on different columns. We'll see. All right, so I'm gaining some speed. We're just going to go as usual. Yeah, we're going to have to use the shadow. Hold on. Oh, no, no. Yeah, because this was a much wider landing thing. Think the land on, you know what I mean. Okay, let's get out of here. I think we're done here. There weren't any other chips that I saw, but yeah, for now we're gonna move on. Fucking hell, I'm trying to board the ship and these guys ambushing me. I do like their little design. Very simple and they're kind of cute, but they do hit a little hard. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. They're dangerous. Okay, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I think this was pretty good for the first episode. And I will see you in the next episode.